and her descent into the underworld of Irkala, the Sumerian goddess Inanna encountered a series of seven gates, upon which she was required to strip away ever more of her jewels and ornaments until she was left bare and powerless within the enveloping darkness beneath the surface of the world. Only after shedding the powers of the diurnal world of light, rationality, and egoity can we descend deeper into the foundations of being. Beneath the incessant monologues of the dialogical mind, we find only breath. Then beneath breath, we find only darkness, and beneath darkness, only warmth. We must become darkness, and then become darkness, transforming into breath and then allow ourselves to become the emptiness which is filled by darkness, and the stillness which is filled by warmth, the singularity which is divided by breathing. Within that emptiness we find the archaic clay from which our consciousness is molded, the awareness which is truly fundamental, truly originary. Within this ever-present origin there is stillness, an emptiness within which there is nothing and yet also everything. All possibilities of a blank canvas, an empty sky, an infinity of luminous forms contained within an endless, nameless, formless darkness. Being and nothingness intertwined in an eternal, ever-present and intimate conjugation of pure, boundless experience. Within this oceanic expanse of potentiality, one possibility is experienced with an intensity and urgency which distinguishes it from all others, one form above all which resonates throughout the whole of the origin. The possibility that the emptiness of primordial feeling might come to be shaped and molded, such that stillness might be ruptured by motion, that undifferentiated oneness might come to be unfolded and intensified. The form of numinosity, the possibility of the ultimate unification of selfhood with radical otherness, is thus felt within every droplet of being and nothingness, and from this originary feeling is then born a compulsion, a will to becoming, through which the possible comes to necessitate the actual, a will to life which ceaselessly moves upon the face of the deep. 